Okay, so today we're gonna do a review and comparison of two completely different helmets. This one is a Rook helmet, costs around 4,000 to 4,500. For this naman, this is an Arai Rapid Neo and it costs me around 30k. Pero if you buy this in Japan, it only costs around 19 to 20,000 pesos. And the reason bakit sobrang mahal ng Arai Rapid Neo dito sa Pilipinas is because it's considered as a premium brand and sobrang hirap mag-import neto sa Philippines. Kaya sobrang taas ng markup niya. Okay, so first, let's look at the Rook helmet. I got this sa Shopee, 4,500 pesos. Free shipping na siya. Tapos kinakuha ko is yung matte black na helmet. So ito siya. Ayan. It comes in a dust bag. Tapos right off the bat, you can see na it says here, anti-scratch side removable screen system. So at first glance, you wouldn't think this helmet would cost around 4,500 pesos. Actually, if you look at it closely, para siyang combination ng Rapid Array Neo and ng Showway Glamster. Kaya kinuha ko talaga tong helmet na to. I really wanted to try it and see if it's worth buying. Okay, so also included in the box is a clear lens. So for 4 or 5, hindi na masama. Bibigyan ka niya ng dalawang lens options. Meron kang super dark and meron ka clear. It's fairly easy to remove. You can see here, meron lang siyang parang negative screw dito. To open the helmet, meron siyang tab dito. So you just push it up. Ayan. So bubuks na siya. Tapos it has a couple stages of holding the lens. So pwedeng ganyan. Pwedeng ganyan, pwedeng ganyan. It's fairly sturdy naman. For 4 or 5, super worth it ng helmet na to. Especially when you compare it to my Rapid Array Neo that costs upwards of 25,000 pesos. So now let's take a look at yung vents ng helmet. Meron siyang dalawa dito. Tapos meron ding sa ilalim. I've used a Rook helmet na before. Tapos I decided to buy their matte version. Kasi yung sa friend ko na si Durf Revs is yung glossy black. So I was really impressed with the helmet. So I decided to buy one. And as you can see, meron siyang pass-through dito sa mouth guard. And there's no way to close it. Pati dun sa taas. So pag unulan ka dito, siguradong papasukin yan. And then I noticed meron siyang gasket dito pero I don't think it's waterproof katulad dong sa aray ko kasi sa aray ko I've used it sa so umuulan like heavy ulan and hindi talaga ako pinapasukan for this one I'm pretty sure papasukin to ng tubig pag nag ride ka sa ulan dito sa gasket especially dito at the back, you'll see an ICC sticker, which allows the helmet to be used sa local roads natin. And then, both of them have ECE, which is a European safety rating for the helmets. And then, right off the bat, you can see sobrang dumihin ng matte black. Tiis pogi ka talaga dito kasi konting hawak mo lang lilitaw agad yung dirt. So, yan. There are other colors naman, don't worry. I think they have more than 15 colors. Sobrang dami yung pagpipilian. May matte, may glossy, may stripes, may retro, may modern. And then now, let's take a look at the insides. As you can see, there are three vents here. This is for circulation, so umiikot yung air so loud. Tapos you can easily remove the pads and It's fairly soft. I think it's softer than the Arai ones. But for 4 5, it's really not that bad. And then, just like my Arai, this one has a double D-ring lock, a chin strap. It's really tricky and hard to remove, especially when you're wearing gloves. Pero you'll eventually get used to it. But for safety, the double D-ring is still the best option. This one also you can remove. So, ito na yung inner pad niya for the helmet. It's very soft. Medyo may pagka sponge and suede texture siya dito. I bet madali tong kapitan ng pawis tsaka dumi. Pero it's a good thing na madali lang naman tong labhan. As for the safety rating, I can't say anything because there's no way for me to test. And since this is ECE approved, I'm pretty sure this has passed all the basic safety requirements that the helmet manufacturer needs. So safety is not really a concern. And then giving you my feedback lang, I've been wearing this for mga short and long rides. And all I can say is it's really worth the money. For 4 or 5, you can never go wrong with this. If there's one thing that I can nick pit on this helmet, it's the wind noise, tsaka yung water resistance. For the wind noise naman, it's loud but it's bearable. For a 4-5 helmet, sure, it's acceptable. I've tried similar price helmets like the HJC CS15. This one is better looking in my opinion, but the CS15 is quieter. Not by much, but this one is really louder by a bit. As for the fitting naman, I'm size 59 cm. So I ordered the large and then saktong sakto yung fit niya except for the cheek pads. I feel like it's pressing my cheek just a little bit more than my array. But overall, I really really like this helmet. It has the look. Tapos you get two lenses pa, diba? And comparing it side by side sa Rapid Array Neo, this one costs 
25,000. This one's cost 4,500. The glasses alone on this cost like 6,000 to buy. So the lens itself is more expensive than the helmet. Aside from the price, is this one is very, very quiet and it's very cool inside. Kasi yung intake niya is built within the lens. So all the air goes here and then circulates inside. And the cool thing about this array is that meron siyang latch dito. So you can close open this. So waterproof siya. I've tried it. So malakas na ulan. And wala talaga pumapasok dito. As long as you close this. Also, the reason why sobrang mahal pala ng lens na to is because it's a pin lock design. So parang anti-fog siya and it's anti-scratch. I'm not sure if this is really anti-scratch. I haven't used it for that long to know kung wala talaga siyang scratches like this one. And just like the Rook, meron din siyang yung liner niya sa ulo. So if you compare it side by side, well, obviously this one is more premium. This one is softer, but for the price, super worth it nito. You can't really tell the difference if you're wearing it na. Only when you're feeling it with your hands, you can really tell. Pero other than that, softness-wise, I think they're both the same. I'm not sure if this will hold up like this, but I'm pretty sure this will last for a long time. And just like the Rook, it's double D-ring. Instead of the locking mechanism of the cheaper helmets, when you push to lock or push to unlock. So yun, overall, I'm really impressed with this helmet. For 4.5, it's really not that bad. And I've said it before, and I'll say it again, never, never cheap out on helmets. Kasi ito yung nagpro-protect sa ulo nyo every time you ride. So, safety-wise, I can't comment. Pero on paper, since it says here that's an ECE helmet, I'm pretty sure this has passed all the safety regulations. So yun, these are two completely different helmets. One is designed for the daily commuting, yung mga lower CC motorcycles. And the Arai Rapid Neo is more on big bikes, like mga 400 and up. But it's up to you naman where you're gonna use it. Kasi the Arai is a trusted brand na talaga. This one is a fairly newcomer. But initial impressions, I'm really impressed. It looks really good sa mga XSR 155s, sa mga Vespas, yung mga classic na bikes. Fun fact, I even brought this sa mga shops. Tiyan ko sa kanila, ano yung mas mahal. Ang pinili nila is yung Rook. I think it's because of the matte finish. But in person kasi, the Rook really looks very, very premium. So yun, two completely different helmets at two completely different price points. But overall, they're really good. Medyo bias na ako kasi this is my dream helmet. I bought this before even buying my very first bike, which is yung XSR 155. And now I have the Husqvarna Svart Pillen 200. So after this video, I'll be shooting and reviewing the most awaited XSR 155 versus the Husqvarna 200. So see you in the next video.